morning, 5th of December, 2011. I just got up. Um, it's like 12.05. I got up a few times, but I wanted to sleep in. I was up really late last night. Battery's about to die, so I can't tell you that long. Um, man, I had lots of dreams, but I waited too long, dude, to talk about them when I kept falling asleep. The one that I had right before I got up this time, I was at, like, I was at the ocean, and we were doing, like, swimming class. We were holding... We were holding on to something, like a bar, and moving our legs. And then I, like, stopped, and and then I was, like, trying it in the water, and I was like, oh, cool, I know how to swim now. And I tried to go out, but I was pinned between these two cars that were too close. But that was, like, swimming, too, so it was, like, cars in the water. Then I went out, and I got a tomato, and I went to open up the tomato, but there was this big bug in it, and I was, like, shaked it out, and I was, like, still alive. I was, like, nasty. But then I woke up, so that's that. Oh. Wait, I forgot to talk about the day. Um... Oh, well, I slept pretty well last night, <laughs> so I think I'm going to have energy today. It was great sleeping last night, and my asthma is pretty much gone. I don't have asthma problems anymore. I mean, I take my inhaler like once at night, you know, and that's it. It's not like all night, so I've gotten to that physical fitness level where the asthma doesn't really have, have an issue. And, uh, yeah, I get, I get two more days of the gym today. I need to remind the people that does so because the day at the gym, the guy at the gym yesterday was like, today's your 14th day, so this is your last day. And then I looked at my computer and I was like, no, it's my 12th day. So I guess they like accidentally clocked me in twice in one day or something. So, um, But um, yeah, it's going to be same old, same old. Go in there to the gym, walk on the treadmill, work on the couch, work stretching, work out. Yeah, that kind of a thing. All until like midnight. <laughs> so that's that. Peace out. Oh yeah, I should do goals for my gym. I mean for my project. Project goals. Um Yeah, I'm gonna try and finish Moldavia today. It's gonna probably take all day on Moldavia, man. Places like same thing like Wallachia. And then maybe get going on another one, you know, history of some of those other countries. And I'm gonna have rice and pumpkin for breakfast. <sighs> Yeah, okay, peace out. So living in the van vlog, 12.39 a.m. Yes, I'm a night owl. Um, I'm cooking up beans and rice, dude. First time that I've had this exact combo. Hopefully one of the only times, because... Fuck, dude, I want to get rid of this goddamn rice. It takes too long to cook. So today what I did was I got up late as fuck. Went into the gym and I walked 10 miles. No, no, I walked 9 miles. No, no, I walked 10 miles, and then I stretched, no, 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 and then I worked for an hour, and then I stretched, and then I went back in the gym, and I worked out a little bit, but, oh, no, and then I went out to get something to eat in my car, that's the, re that's the regime, but I fucked up my diet, dude, which made it so I didn't have any energy, because what I did was I had fruit for breakfast, for lunch, I had, but I had too much, I had, um, which I, it was the same thing I had the other day, but today it made me feel ill, too much sugar, I think, um, I had a big ass can of, uh, like an oversized can of um, pineapple, a can of mixed fruit, and a can of uh, peaches, but it was the stuff that soaked, so, so, uh, soaking in heavy syrup, and I ate it, and I knew before I was done that I fucked myself, because <laughs> I went in, and I was all bloated and stuff, and I went and I watched a little bit of a movie, maybe five minutes of it, some Drew Barrymore movie where she goes to high school, and then um, I worked out a little bit. I did a, I did a let's see, chest press four plates eight times so I felt you know I felt strong enough but I just didn't feel right I felt kind of toxic you know like not good to, so I, to work out so I was like fuck this I'm not gonna work out today so I went I walked on the treadmill for another three miles so I ended up walking 13 miles today on the treadmill and I stretched for like an hour so I definitely did do my share of exercise today but um and working the whole time I had a good day of work um you know doing it the efficient way of getting Finished um, Republic of Moldavia, or not Republic, Principality of Moldavia, um, and, uh, and then got going on uh, the Kingdom of uh, Poland from the olden days. Um, yeah, so I worked fine, worked good. Listened to the history of Ireland, and then I listened to the Brain Dude a couple of times. But fuck, man, what's this guy, Michael Salinger or whatever? But 
I wasn't really paying attention to it. The kind of stuff he was saying, I maybe would be better off just reading it and learning it that way because i just not paying attention enough. So I'm just going to listen to that a couple more times. Somebody told me to do a video about the God Helmet, so I'm going to do that. And uh, yeah, I had to take a little bit of a break from the history of Ireland because it's just so goddamn boring. Um, and uh, so that's what I did. I was kind of debating renting a movie. <laughs> I totally would rent a movie right now, but... Um, there you go, that's boiling, so we can be done with that. Yeah, but there's just no juice in my computer. There's no juice in my... I know there's going to be no juice in my... Yeah, my fucking... RV battery is kaput, dude. Besides, I like to have it charged all the time anyway, just in case I have to jump myself. Um, yeah, I was so close to renting a movie. I wish I could. If I had the money, I'd buy one of those movie players, you know, where the battery lasts long and just lay back on my back, or just fix the system in my car. <laughs> Try to go to a, get a new uh, battery so I can get it for free under warranty, but um, Skyped my brother today. He Skyped me. So he's like, yeah, anyways, we talked about something. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to try and get the direct deposit in my uh, bank from, from uh, AdSense for my YouTube videos, but it keeps rejecting the direct deposit, so I'd like to get that fixed. I have a paycheck coming, man. Woo! Making like, I made $70 last month. Making money with my YouTube videos. So my living in the van vlog channel is good. Um, and I will do a video pretty soon of some of the requests of like exactly how much I'm spending and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's basically that. This is my second to last day at this gym. So tomorrow is my last day. Day after tomorrow I go to another gym um, in Mokultio right on the coast. And I heard that gym's really good, so... Um, I'm excited about that. Hopefully they have internet, man. I've been kicking ass on my site, dude. Um, kingdom by kingdom, dude. Moving along, man. Um, it's going to be awesome. When my site's done, holy God. Somebody commented yesterday. They're like, aren't you afraid you're just wasting your time like 50 other people have already made timelines? I'm sure there's been some other timelines out there, and there should be like a timeline site where it shows all the timelines that everybody's made, but I already looked at those. This is a few years back, but... Dude, nobody, nobody... Nobody's making a timeline like me. Nobody's crazy enough to make a timeline as big as the fucking one that I'm making. Dude, I'm gonna be like working 12 hours a day for five fucking years, man. Who's that fucking crazy? I guess you could make a big project out of it. People could get a bunch of people to go. Nobody's gonna sponsor me though. You know, like like the IRS is uh, fucking trying to audit me, right? Or trying to tell me I never paid paid um, my taxes in 2008. And I was telling my brother, he's like, it's because of your YouTube videos. I know it's because of that. Because you mentioned that you get the, uh, you know, blah, blah. It's because of that. Yeah, dude. And yeah, nobody's like, I mean, I'm not complaining, just as an aside, nobody's like donating to me. I was having lunch with this dude a couple of years ago, this like dude who knows about like, you know, how money people were working, you know, like high up in Republican Party, vice president of a big natural gas companies, like, yeah, dude, none of those, none of those, uh, none of those um, multinational corpor corporations are ever going to touch you with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> For my kayak trip, it's just sponsorship for that, but whatever. Um, my site's so badass, though. Um, my site's gonna be so badass. Like when I, in a couple months, when I make it presentable, it's gonna be like you're gonna have to be retarded to not understand how fucking like amazing it's gonna be. And when it's done, it's gonna be 100% impossible to understand how amazing it's gonna be. Which basically makes it so that I get to act as fucking crazy as I want. Nobody can say shit. You know? Somebody could be like, Kyle's weird. He's a douchebag. It's like, oh yeah? Look at my site. Oh. Oh, I guess being weird and acting like a douchebag is the new, new way. Yep. That's what the smart people do. Yep. Smart people act weird. That, I'm going to change the paradigm, man. Single-handedly. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, dude. Um, 
that's how badass my site's going to be, man. So, um, I'm excited. It's going to take forever, though, so hopefully the IRS doesn't, uh, well, hopefully, yeah. Anyways, um, that's about, that's me ranting, and that's all I have to say for today. Peace out.